Jessica, Jessica, we have huge news. I think the bubble is bursting. The bubble is bursting, Matthew. Holt. Today, today, we are actually going to cover deals that are less than one hundred million dollars. Oh, for heaven's sake! Why even bother at this point, then? <laughs> February 3rd episode of Health in 2.0. Oh my god, Matthew, do you remember the days when like $10 million was like, holy cow, I can't believe it. Now it's like 25. Why are we even going to talk about this? What are they going to spend that money on? I mean, you know, it's barely enough to like pay for the coffee. What does it and matter? You just integrate some telehealth feature. You just uh, become a, a diabetes management solution. There's a million things you can do with a couple mm -hmm. million dollars. They need to pay for the company Tesla. They got to do have put some, put some money in Bitcoin from the treasury account. They got to gamble on GameStop. Yeah, all of that. Like, They're booking ahead for JP Morgan 2022. Those hotel room rates. I mean, not going to adjust for COVID. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a small matter of paying for the drinks parties because some people may be thirsty when they get there. I don't know who. <laughs> yeah. Present company not included, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, big for another one. All right. Well, put your coffee down, get your timer, and let's do this. All right. Here we go. All right. Ready? All right. We do have one big deal to, to talk about right off the bat. Ready? Go. All right, Sidecar Health. They get 125 million. This brings their total up to 163. This is a new health plan for a girl like me. Tell us about this one. I am bitterly confused. So I think as far as I can tell, this health plan, A, is, it says it's health insurance, but it's not. It looks like a Christian sharing ministry, but it isn't a Christian sharing ministry. It says it gets a discount, like a discount card, like kind of like a good RX, but you do have to pay into it. I have no idea how it works. As far as I can tell, it's short-term health insurance and it's uh, illegal under the Biden administration. Oh. But we will see. I mean, the last time I, the last time I said that, they, they said they weren't. And uh, I'm still waiting for the explanation. We probably should get them on to actually figure out what the hell they actually do. Because... We talk to them rather than have them write us angry tweets. Okay. What about <laughs> folks? They get $25 million. This is a Series A. They just closed their seed round in December. It was $4.4 million. This is uh, telehealth for the LGBTQ yeah, and this one's growing really fast. There are a bunch of clinics like Callum Ward and a couple in DC and elsewhere who do, you know, who do physical stuff for LBGQ, but it's a huge market, right? Because it's a group of people who want to have their own different type of providers. And the CEO there, whose name I'm banking on, was at Optum for a while. And before that, I think was at, uh, it was a company they bought, I think it was. Anyway, um, I'm not being very precise this morning, am I? And uh, she uh, is right, right this looks very interesting. Yes, the bar is low on this show. Okay, what about Timely MD? More telehealth. This one's for colleges. Why wouldn't you just use Teladoc for something like this? They get 60 million. It's a niche. There are special college health services, 60 million from a private equity company I've never heard of, from a for a company I've never heard of. So, uh, you know, good luck then. All right, what about Sword Health? Another MSK startup. They get 25 million. Who's going to catch Hinge? Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's another one. There's a several out there. Somebody, somebody will actually want to do this. There's got to be some competition. I saw their tech a couple of years back. Quite interesting. Good luck to them. All right. What about Get Well Network? They acquired Docent for an undisclosed amount of money. Explain this acquisition for me. What does it do? Ah, ah, ah. Got it in there. So Get Well Network, this is interesting. Get Well Network forever. They have technology that goes into TVs in hospital oh, rooms. Right? Okay. Yeah. So it's like the it's it's the stuff that you can do watching the TV in your hospital. They started there. I was kind of amused about a decade ago because I met the CEO. And he was uh, he was uh, presenting at the, the M Health Mobile Health Congress, which I was was a stupid name. And I said, "How do you do mobile health when it's bolted to the wall of the hospital room?" But anyway, they suddenly branched out, and they're looking at any other way they can connect with the patient. The first thing is they bought Jordan Slane's company, Health Loop. Oh. They bought Health Loop a couple of years ago, which is a way for doctors to reach out to patients and back and forth. And now they bought Docent. Docent launched a Health Loop about three or four years ago. Came out of the Oxion Trail Prices little studio there and got some backing with them. Interesting company. They were kind of building a patient advocacy, patient connection service for people in the hospital, starting with uh, OB and, and new mums and branching out from there. So you can see that Get Now Network is like building this sort of hospital-centered, physician-centered patient communication uh, little empire there. And they presumably will be spacking out or something because they've been private equity back for a while now. So I expect them to be going soon. So 
interesting little acquisition. I don't know how much it was, but probably not that much. I think Dosen raised about 20 or 30 million. So my guess is sub 100 million, but probably an interesting thing to go into a bigger pool as it comes out. And, uh, you know, there must be a spat from somebody around for, to buy that. Interesting. They should run our show on those uh, hospital TVs. They should. People would love it. You're lying in bed. Pull their uh, own plug. <laughs> I remember that I think it was the CMG one network told me one told me that that, that when he very when he was in hospital once uh, and they wanted to change the channel on TV I don't know which hospital this was and when it was somebody had to come in with a stick and poke there was no right. remote control and poke the uh, TV up on the wall to change the channel I think things have gone on have gone a little bit since then let's hope so wow okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Matthew Holt, you and your stories of health tech in the past. <laughs> well, yeah, I bet, you, I bet you'll find a hospital somewhere in America where you still have to poke the TV with a stick to change the channel. Just back somebody. Please come change my channel. <laughs> Get it to the nurse's station. <laughs> be great. Yeah, All right, for more stories about healthcare's illustrious past, you can go visit one of the oldest running Twitter accounts on Twitter at Bolty Boy. <laughs> Uh-huh. And the oh. oldest blog in healthcare. Or maybe oldest not. blog in healthcare where you can what sign up for our email newsletter um, over there at the healthcareblog.com. This was built on such an old version of WordPress that we actually spoke. Who did you speak with at WordPress? It was like one of their oldest developers. And even he was like, you're a, a couple of versions older than what I am. I can't help you. This is not true. This is just lies. <laughs> They're not lies. <laughs> oh, but for some good lies and truths. You can follow me on Twitter at Justin Basso. All right, guys, we will talk to you soon. And hopefully we'll be back over $100 million with all of our deals next week. Stay there'll tuned. Be, there'll, there'll, be some spa, there'll be some spectacular. Oh my God, there's a, yeah, for sure. I talked to somebody yesterday who told me that they had is a PR agency and they have two stacks coming in the next two weeks. So yeah, can't tell you who, but announcements are forthcoming, friends. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.